Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Dyes, and today we've got a little behind the scenes of the making of Keith's weapon of choice. All right, so Keith is one of our new hires, really awesome guy, went to high school with me. He is uh, actually, we all went to Loyola, uh, Ryan and Keith. Uh, he was Keith, or he was Ryan's year, so one year under me. Uh, we played lacrosse together at Loyola Blake Field. He won the championship my year and then won the championship uh, the year after and went on to play some, uh, some D1 lacrosse in college. So uh, he was a face-off guy and a midi. Uh, so I'm going to do up a custom stick for him, uh, kind of an initiation, him being part of the ECD crew now. So I've got this all-white Evo X. Uh, if, you've, if you've already seen the uh, Keith's Weapon Choice video, you've seen the result, but I'm going to run you through um, how we did the whole thing. So um, it's an Evo X. We're going to dye it up, string it up. He's requested sort of an Irish theme. He doesn't know exactly what he's getting, though. So uh, I hope this surprised him a little bit. All right, guys. So I've got um, the white Evo X with some marbling spray on it down in the middle uh, just to make the fade a little bit more interesting uh, give it a little more uh, just a different effect and then I've just got an EC decal ECD decal um, on the back so it'll just be branded this way I do with all my dyes put a little ECD on the back uh, so now we're gonna go through our first layer of orange alright guys so I've got the first layer of orange on did it kind of on an asymmetrical angle and I've got a little Irish saying here that means uh, strength and honor in Gaelic and uh, I'm gonna add a little more marbling spray do another layer of orange. This is uh, light orange on dark orange, so this text will be ghosted in. And then we'll finish off the dye with green in the bottom. All right, so I've got my second layer of orange on. You can see it's darker orange now, and I accentuated that asymmetrical fade all the way down to here on the right side, just up to here on the left side. Uh, again, under this uh, this little saying right here is light orange, so that'll be ghosted in. The ECD will be white, and the marble spray will be white. So now we're going to do a final coat of Kelly green on the bottom. Finish it off, peel off the webbing spray, and uh, string her up. Alright guys, so we've got the finished dyed product of Keith's head. Uh, I tried to do things a little bit differently uh, than I normally do on dyed heads on this one, just to give a little more interest and, uh, and change things up for you guys. So it's the Evo X with a uh, sort of an offset orange marble fade, and then an offset uh, Kelly fade. So an Irish theme, so you get a little bit of white on either sides of here with the orange and the green down low. Uh, it's got a white ECD in the back, and then the saying he wanted uh, ghosted in in light orange right here on the side, just to uh, take it off to the side and go with that asymmetrical aspect that I really like. Uh, so overall, the asymmetricality, the marble, the full uh, color dyeing gives it a, a really interesting look, and I'm going to have to string it up now. So uh, he's a face-off guy, so I'll string it up with a face-off oriented pocket. Uh, actually, the whole dyeing process softened the head a little bit, uh, softened the Evo X up, so that'll make it even better for facing off. Alright guys, so here we have uh, finally Keith's completed project, dyed and strung. So, Evo X, custom Irish dye with uh, a ghosted in saying that he wanted, showing up with 15 millimeter. Uh, Kelly to white East Coast mesh and I actually flipped it so put the Kelly down here in the bottom and the white up top I uh, just wanted to I thought it would look nice with the Kelly down here and uh, keep all the Kelly at the bottom and then just give it a little accent with the Kelly top string so I went with a Kelly and white double triangle top white sidewalls white in the throat an orange nylon and a white uh, straight shooter and a white five diamond U uh, we went with more of a mid pocket shifted my from what UX pocket up just a little bit. Uh, nice channel, good depth, really nice looking pocket overall. Uh, really happy with the way this came out and I really hope that Keith likes it. So I uh, really appreciate a like on this video if you guys like this video and would like to see more like this. Subscribe to my channel for daily streaming videos and tutorials and have a great day.